G'day Sharks fans, I'm Rob Willis, Media Manager for the Cronulla Sharks and welcome to Sharks TV. This year we're going to do things a little bit differently. We hope you enjoy and appreciate the changes we're going to make to our website and our communications. An example of where we're going with Sharks TV, field reporter Don Rogers recently caught up with fanatical Sharks supporter and former world surfing champion Mark Ocalupo. G'day Sharks fans, forget Gordon Tullis and the Broncos, we're here with the original Raging Bull, 99 world surfing champion, top bloke and one of Cronulla's favourite sons, Mr Mark Ocalupo. Welcome home, Oc. Oh, it's so good to be back, eh? Back in Cronulla, back in the hood of, like, it's been a fantastic weekend already. Nice, mate. Well, you obviously grew up in the area. What are some of your favourite memories of, uh, you know, this place? Yeah, well, oh, uh, I grew up in Cornell, but then I migrated to Cronulla, like 10 minutes down the road. And uh, my fondest memory is, like, winning the Burry Pairs uh, against Tom Carroll at Allura Beach, and there was, like something like 50,000 people on the beach like drew a big crowd and that was my fondest memory. Mate so obviously you can take the boy from Cronulla but not Cronulla from the boy you're still a shark. Yeah you can't take Cronulla out of the boy yeah I've been a shark fan ever since I've been like knee high a grasshopper. I played I played I played rugby league when I was young up till about 15 and played for Cronulla Carrion Bar and yeah and the sharks are my like such ultimate team. They're going to win a, a, a premiership, aren't they? Mate, definitely. We're this year, this year. It's got to be this year. So, mate, you're back as the captain of uh, Cronulla Board Riders. Um, mate, much the same as Gal's the captain for the Sharks. How is it How is it leading the local uh, pack? Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, this event here is kind of like a state of origin event. So, because I ride for Snapper Rocks and my kids are in Snapper Rocks, which is on the Gold Coast, obviously. But when I came here, I had to surf for Cronulla. It's my roots, it's my grassroots, I, you know, that's where I was kind of born, so yeah, I had to surf for Cronulla, even though we didn't do that good, but it, was, it didn't matter because I was just back with the team. Well mate, like Origin, there's always next year. Mate, talking, talking to Gal, you've heard he's got his upcoming professional boxing debut, rumour has it he's looking for some sparring partners, mate, how do you think you'd go? <laughs> Paul Gallen, uh, I don't want to spar with him. A good mate of mine, Camo, is training him and I really wish him all the best for his first fight, but yeah, no, I'm, all, I'm more like martial arts. Nice, mate. <laughs> mate, uh, so, mate, uh, you've obviously paddled into some of the biggest and heaviest waves in the world, Chopu, Pipeline, I mean, that must take some, uh, so, so a lot of courage. How do you prepare for something like that? Yeah, well, it's, it's hard to say, you know, like, I mean, you just got to be focused and the day you wake up, if the waves are massive, you know, your adrenaline starts to pump and, you know, you got to surf big waves that day and, yeah, I mean, like, it's just all experience, you know, I, I went to Hawaii early and, um, and kind of tackled pipeline and one pipeline when I was about 18 years old. So, yeah, but, uh... The worst uh, wipeout I've ever had is right across here at Voodoo. At Voodoo. Right, so you've had no no experiences with uh, sharks out there, mate. I've had plenty. Do <laughs> what story do you want to hear? I've had I've had plenty, but um, I got a two wave hold down at Voodoo, like when I was really young, and that was my heaviest thing I had. Yeah, right. So, mate, what are your thoughts on certain beaches around Cronulla, around Australia? Sorry, wanting to you know eliminate sharks. What are your, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, nah. Uh, you know, the sharks have got a place in the water and. You know, we have shark nets on the Gold Coast and around here and, you know, you just can't, if you eliminate them, then all the other fish are going to freak out, you know, like, yeah. Mate, you blew onto the scene in the 80s, early 80s, and you're there for pretty much three decades, mate, and you're still charging today. You, you developed a pretty fierce rivalry with uh, Tom Curran. Can you tell us a little bit about that and did you have any little tricks up your sleeve to throw him off his game? Oh, well, I did. Eh? When I won the OP Pro in, in California, um, I met him. We used to have to paddle around the boy to gain priority and behind the boy I kind of gave him a little like slip. <laughs> but Tommy is so introvert and I'm so extrovert. But we had a boat trip lately and uh, we got on really well. But he was my nemes nemesis. Like, yeah, he really is like my idol you know he, he's that good that um it's hard to beat i mean we've got kelly slater but before that we got you know tom Curran. 
Yeah, absolutely. Mate, your book, The Rise, The Fall, The Rise of Mark Ocalupo, which is available at Amazon, great read. Mate, uh, you've obviously been through the highs, the lows and the highs as a professional athlete. Have you got any advice you can give to any youngsters out there trying to make a name for themselves in you know, today's competitive professional sports in general? Yeah, no, for sure I have. You know, I, I've had all those highs and lows and depression and it's all in the book, but you know, you just gotta, you know, you gotta stay focused and for the kids, you know, like there's always light at the end of the tunnel and you know, everyone goes through it. Don't be afraid to like talk to your neighbor or your mate or your mum or your dad, you know, that I'm kind of wigging out on depression, you know, it's like, it's a, it's a hard thing to detect really, you know, and especially like minor depression, but then minor goes to major and you just got to talk about it and get it, um, you know, just got to get onto it. Nice, mate. Um, mate, you're obviously a guy who's pretty passionate about your footy. We know you like your football. Yeah. Mate, uh, who's your all-time favourite player? Yeah, oh, far out. Probably Andrew Eddinghausen. Yeah, yeah. And when he played, like, outside centre for Granola and, you know, he used to always go to the games and he was so fast. He was so quick. No one can touch him. I've got, I've got a 10-year-old boy that really reminds me of him and he's so fast. He's got the best step on him. And yeah, I, you know, I show him like footage of that, and yeah, so it's probably Andrew. Yeah, yeah. Does he get that speed and step from his mum or dad, mate? Oh, he's mum. <laughs> <laughs> and mate, finally, um, mate, any uh, young budding presenters out there? We put a call out for Sharks TV. You're the host of Fuel. You got any advice for you know someone who's obviously struggling a little bit? Yeah, it's one of those things. You know, you just got to be yourself, and you know, just go through what happens and. Just don't be nervous. I mean, it's the hardest thing not to be nervous. I was, I was on a stage the other day with Mick Fanning at with Pearl Jam, and there was like sixty thousand people in the crowd, and we got up on stage, and wow, it was freaky. It was the adrenaline, but you know, the more you do it, and the more you do interviews, and you know, no matter, no one's, you know, there's heaps of people that are good, but you know, you just got to be yourself, and and that's what people want to see is just being yourself. Thanks, Donny. Let's hope we can get Mark out to some Sharks games during the year. Young actor Tasman Palazzi, recently in the Great Gatsby movie and a mad Sharks fan. He recently got amongst the players down at training, asked them the tough questions. So, what's your name and position? My name is Paul Gallen. Um, I play lock, which is in the middle of the field, and sometimes I play front row, but I like wearing number 13. He'll play it for to Goyce, now Kelly, running to the line, giving it to Gallen! Gallen reaching I'm Sod Carney, play 5-8 for the Cronulla Sharks. My name is Bo Ryan and my position is wing. Farrell to Merritt, the ball went to ground, Ryan picks it up, there's nobody in front of him, Ryan though, winning the race, going for the line, and Ryan goes the length of the field. Uh, my name's Michael Gordon and I play fullback for the Cronulla Sharks. What a ball for Flash Gordon! It worked beautifully. I'm Wade Graham and I play in the back row. Oh, he kicks back towards the posts. Mullen is there and drops it. Kick through by Graham. He dives on the ball to get Cronulla back in front. My name's Luke Lewis. Third position is back row. What's your favourite food? My favourite food is spaghetti bolognese, definitely, but uh, I also like eating my veggies. I eat as much veggies each week as I can. My favourite food uh, would have to be my mum's cooking. Uh, she's always been the best cook, so um, yeah, steak and veggies. My favourite food is seafood. I love all different types of seafood. Um, been eating since I was young. Probably oysters would be my favourite. My favourite food would be a nice big steak with a couple of runny eggs on top and some little side of chips. What high school did you go to? I went to Parramatta Maris High, which is out uh, the western suburbs of Sydney in, at Westmead. I went to St Joseph's Catholic High School in Avenue Park. I went to Kingscliff High School, um, which is up on the far north coast of New South Wales. Uh, the high school I went to is called Hill Sports, it's in Seven Hills. Who is your favourite rugby league hero and why? 
uh, Andrew Johns. As a, as a little kid, I uh, followed the Raiders and loved all their players, but my favourite player was Andrew Johns, and he, he's the best there is, and um, yeah, just try and, try and play, play as much as I can like him. My favourite player growing up was Terry Lamb. My family loved the Bulldogs, I used to love the Bulldogs, and I always wanted to be Terry Lamb, and I was Terry Lamb when we played footy out the front. My favourite uh, player as a kid was uh, Brad Fittler. He played for Penrith, which I always supported Penrith when I was a kid, and he played at a young age, and something that I always wanted to do, and uh, had the opportunity to play with Brad Fittler in the origin. What is the best thing about playing rugby league, and why? Uh, definitely the best thing about playing rugby league is hanging out with your mates. Uh, you know, I get to come to training, run around on the field with them, and have a real lot of fun. And then obviously after training, when you've worked really hard, tell a joke with all of them and have a good time. The best part about playing rugby league is hanging with your mates. Um, we've got a really close side here and we're all best friends and we get to hang out most of the day. Sometimes we argue, sometimes we fight, sometimes we have lunch together, but um, all in all, it's a great job and something I'm very honoured to do. Uh, the best thing about playing rugby league is the, the teamwork and the mateship uh, that it, the environment creates and it's just, uh, you know, it's also a lot of fun doing as well. Uh, the best thing about playing rugby league is I think um, the mates you make from it. I love coming to training every day and um, playing with my good friends and obviously I think it's the best sport in the world. Thanks Taz and we hope to catch up to you at Ramonda Stadium during the year as well. Thanks for joining us. Send us your feedback, any ideas you might have, what you might like to see. Some events coming up. Trial game, Sharks play the West Tigers on February 22. Get to the games down here at Ramondas. In between, catch all the action of the Nines. This is Sharks TV. I'm Rob Willis. Get to the game. Support the Sharks.